All right. Today we have a white noise machine, a uh, homemade one. This is something that I put together back in July of 2021, and we used it up until recently. It doesn't do too bad. It's okay. You see it's in a wood enclosure that I built and stained. Speakers on top, and there's a power input, 5 volts DC, <clears throat> and a power switch. So pretty simple. It's either on or off. And that's what it sounds like. <clears throat> Obviously, the microphone won't pick it up perfectly, but it's a, it's a white noise with a little bit of filtering to make it less harsh. There's no volume control. We generally just set something on top to adjust things. So I think we had a washcloth sitting on it. I don't have one nearby, but we can use this instruction manual, and you'll see. And that just... Uh, I'll not talk over it. Having that on top just kind of reduces the volume and further reduces the harshness because uh, neither my wife or I like that really like pure white noise. It's just kind of too piercing. I uh, prefer more of a brown noise, which this doesn't really do, but the filtering helps. So inside the speaker, power switch, power input jack, and it's running... There's a small Arduino there. This is, uh, is that Adafruit. I think it's from Adafruit. It's one that they do. Uh, Trinket, yeah, that's what it's called. And, yeah, not nothing too complicated. The All the Arduino is doing is generating a random signal and outputting it on one of the pins, which gives us the white noise. Yes, it would be cheaper to do that with some analog components, but... I am not an electrical engineer. I'm a software developer. So I went with what was quick and easy for me to do at the time because I kind of just built this on a whim because it just it was something we kind of needed at the time. There's a, a transistor, which is actually driving the speaker. I'm not driving directly off the pin because I saw some people who did, but that struck me as not a good idea. And you see that capacitor there. And I think one of the resistors is part of the additional filtering to just take some of the harshness off the white noise sound. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. Um, yeah, I got the idea for using the Arduino to generate the signal from someone's similar project somewhere. If I can find that, I'll link to it. Um, if I did this again, instead of having the, the uh, barrel jack for power, I would just take an old USB cable, cut it, and wire it in directly because it's 5 volts DC anyways. That's basically it. Uh, what else can we say about it? Well, you know, it's done okay and it served its purpose, but we have since switched to using a uh, purchased solution. This is a Electrofan Evo. I've got some other Electrofan models, and these work really well. You can adjust the volume. You also get different, like, brown noise, white noise, pink noise, whatever sounds. Fan sounds. Yeah, timer, which I never use. And it's just more compact. And it does run off a uh, USB charger. I'm like this big, chunky supply that's driving this, which it does not need. It does not, drive, uh, does not draw much current. So, yeah, that's basically it. I wanted to show this off because uh, I'm not really going to use it now. We've got a handful of these now we use throughout the house. We just, we like the noise when we're sleeping, sometimes when I'm working. Um, this is going to get put away for now, and probably what will happen is uh, at some point I'll want to use this board for something else, and I'll, or the speaker or something else, it'll get cannibalized for other projects. Uh, last thing I'll mention, because, you know, I think some people say, well, you can just use your phone, and you can. Obviously, you can take a phone any old phone, this one's really dirty because it was in storage. And uh, install white noise generators, apps, things like that. I have not had good luck with that. I've tried different apps. I've tried changing settings, battery saving modes, and things like that. And no matter what I do, uh, inevitably the app stops running at some point during the night. I lose my sound, and then I wake up. So I don't know if that's a problem for iPhone users, but I've had no luck with white noise generators on Android, and so uh, I have a dedicated device now.
Anyways, that's it. Wanted to share my uh, DIY project and uh, before it gets ripped to pieces and parts get used somewhere else. Thanks for watching.